any form of awakening, any form of a step that you're taking towards unfolding human existence, towards unfolding the why of us, right? Eventually, it will lead us onto an awakened state. And in an awakened state, everything is removed. So if you think that by us walking away from a particular situation or particular people, person, event is going to give us that wisdom, then no, that's only a coping mechanism so that we are not triggered, so that we're protecting ourselves, right? But there has been no realization save for, right, this is something that's going to trigger me. And at this point in time, I don't wish to deal with it. And so I'm going to leave it. The kind of realization that comes to us as a result of a fully awakened state is one that shows us things as they are. The entire totality of existence is unleashed right before us. So all the steps that we were taking so far, whether it was inner child healing, spiritual awakening, Kundalini awakening, going onto a particular spiritual path, realizing that maybe you're an earth angel, maybe you're a star seed, maybe you're an indigo child, and going through all of those ways of you finding your way, whatever it is, whatever it is that's in a making you feel you want to know more about yourself and before you want to know more about yourself you want to know what it is that sets you apart you want to know what it is that is your talk you want to know what it is that is empowering you you want to find what it is that is your blueprint your signature ultimately where this is all going to lead us so whatever it is that is your vehicle becomes your dharma your dharma, right, is your way, your path, and it can be anything. There is no judgment to whatever it is, as long as it's going to eventually take you to a point where you have assimilated this human existence. You've let go of all manifest reality, and then this manifest reality goes back to the state of unmanifest pure consciousness, and you're then able to witness yourself using only one thing and that's an awareness five senses don't get us there and yes we do talk a lot about various experiences that we have that are bodily various experiences that we have that are in our energetic body our subtle body and how this is all going to feel and we're all sharing with each other all of these sensations and everything but eventually you get to a stage with zero sensation, right? The sensation that is nearest to that might just be tears of ecstasy that will fall when the rest of you has shut down. The rest of you has completely shut down to the world, right? So you could be sat for years in one position and this brings to mind one such person that I met during my own journey, he was an avadut, which means he was didn't have any clothes on him, so he had he was absolutely nude. And for 17 years he had stood in the same spot in that nudity, just staring at the rays of the sun. He was staring at that. There was no movement. 17 years he'd been like that. And the closer I approached, so the closer, and as soon as you were going towards this person, there was a vibe around him, an electrical current around him. And I can't describe it in words, save for it was something very, very surreal, yet something that could make you break down in tears because you can't explain this feeling. You can't explain this feeling when you witness this feeling, when you witness it, whether you want to call it a feeling or a sensation, it is up to you. But as long as we're on the same page and you, you, you understand what we are trying to relay here. Now, when you get into this state, whatever your vehicle, 
when you get to the show, you will set that vehicle aside because you no longer need that vehicle. The vehicle can be a teacher. The vehicle can be whatever it is that you made your dharm, your dharma. It could be a scripture. It could be a belief system, whatever. Yeah. Eventually that belief system will work its way and then you get to that point and it's bye-bye because it, you've worked it out. You've worked it out. So this is what brings me to that of universal consciousness. When we get to that place where we are vibrating very high and you've got to a place where you've merged with this Brahman, this universal consciousness, you have realized that Aham Brahamsi, I am God, I am the totality and you experience that state of void, shunya, nothingness, right? This nothingness in that state of nothingness friends right it is a state where there's a potential you can either carry on staying in that state or you can then go and do something from that state which is you start afresh you could either be incarnate and fully liberated in that state or you decide to shed your body. Now, it is at this point, right, when you have reached a stage where you can choose when you're going to shed your body. And this is when we come to a stage where when there is a shedding of the mortal coil, you literally attain that samadhi. We say that you have taken samadhi then you can experience that kind of samadhi even in normal wake life. It is not for me to say anything beyond this point, friends, but wishing you so much love, joy, and whatever it is, whatever vehicle you have chosen to ascend and for you to realize the totality of your existence, who you are, why you are. May that bring you the freedom that you seek. Take care.